Okay, guys. Now that you've seen the two types of dipoles, um, one of them runs out. After a couple hours, you know, the lithium batteries run out. You have to plug them back in and recharge them. The other one, as obvious as it may seem, doesn't run out. Let's say that you, you forget about this magnet that you put on the refrigerator. And then you come back 10 years later and find this refrigerator and find the magnet still stuck onto the fridge. It has not lost its energy, still defying gravity. So you do have an eternal source of magnetism. The reason being the magnetism is not coming from inside the magnet. What the magnet is doing, it's organizing electromagnetic energy and it sucks it in through the block wall. That's the neutral zone of the magnet. It comes all the way in. And then it organizes all this chaos into a dipole, a north and a south. And I didn't say this. Two great people said this. Walter Russell, Howard Johnson. Those are great minds. I'm not a great mind, but I look for uh, answers. That's what I do. So anyway, you have this source of energy that's continuous. It's magnetic energy. And you know that. You already know this. You can convert mag magnetic energy into electrical energy fairly simply. Iron gets induced quickly. Iron is like a magnet towards magnetism. So let's say you have a magnet right here and you bring a piece of iron. It will induce into the iron. So it's self-inducing. You don't have to put any effort into it. It does it automatically. So it's so that this flow is called magnetic flux. This flow, Faraday says, will create electrical energy if you have copper wire wrapped around it you wanted free energy you got free energy the magnet will always give you this magnetism all you have to do is learn how to take it away that's all you need to do thank you guys bye bye now